Do you remember the original Windows 3.1 file manager? Well, basically it's really simple and it doesn't look anything like the Explorer that we have today. In this video, we're going to see a really easy way to get this file manager in Windows 10 and 11, which was actually made by Microsoft and published on the Microsoft Store. So let's get into it right away. You may be surprised at what I just said. Windows um, file manager for Windows 11 and Windows 11. I must be joking, right? Well, I'm not. There is actually a Windows file manager made by Microsoft themselves that looks exactly like the Windows 3.1 one. That may, okay, but yeah. So how do you get it? Well, it's really easy. All you have to do is go to the Microsoft store and then search for Windows file manager when this thing loads. And then once it does, you can get the Windows File Manager, install it, and then bring back some nostalgic memories if you have ever used Windows 3.1. So what we can do now is we can just search for Windows File Manager. And then we can just click on the first result over here. And you can see that it is made by Microsoft Corporation. And honestly, not many people know about it. It only has 10 ratings which is kind of surprising for something made by Microsoft, honestly, but it still is pretty interesting. As you can see, it only is one picture, but it does kind of tell us quite a bit. It shows us a Windows 3.1 looking file manager. So it says over here that Windows File Manager Reborn project is maintained on GitHub, and there are only 10 reviews, most of them are good, and it says that it should work on Windows 10 and 11, it was published on 2019, which is three years ago at the time of making, and the size is 7.4 megabytes at the time of making as well. And the version is 10.1.4.0. So enough of this, let's get into it right now. So I'm just gonna click the open button as I already have it installed, and I'm gonna full screen, and right away you can see something really surprising. You can see that there is a parent window, and then there is a child window inside of it which is basically the way that Windows 3.1 was shown if you saw the beginning of the video. And it is really simple because as you can see, it looks exactly like it with the folders. I can go into the Windows directory and you can see the folder tree is on the left and then the child folders and files are on the right and you can open it just like you would in here. For example, I can open Notepad by double clicking and it does work just fine. You can even switch between directories using this or this I can go to my D drive or my E drive, which is my USB. And the funny thing is it actually shows as a floppy drive icon, which is makes sense because USB is kind of like the floppy of today, except it's way faster. And you can see that it does have a few more options. For example, PowerShell and CMD, because they didn't exist. CMD was probably MS-DOS. And there are a few more options like disk, tree, view, options, window, and help, which shows the um, GitHub repository as well as the version. So yeah, lots of stuff in here, but of course it would take way too long for me to go through here. It's supposed to just be an overview. And if you can remember the video where I discussed how to get it using the ODBC data sources, well, it's not like this. This is actually made by Microsoft, not like a remnant, like they forgot to change it. So now let's get on to the comparison. So let's see how real this is to the actual 3.1 one. Okay, so here it is. And honestly, not much difference at all. The only thing I really see is that the um, ribbon UI over here is present, but over here it isn't. But maybe you can enable it in view, but I'm not sure. And another thing that I noticed is that the parent window has the drive over here unlike this one where it's located in the child, as you can see. And another thing, but this is not a difference, it's actually a similarity, is that these file disk tree view options window help is the same as in here, file disk tree view options window help. Although some of them such as file have way less compared to the ones that we have right now. And one more thing I want to show you really quickly is the very similar, for example, create directory. So this is how it looks in here. And I'm just gonna go to Windows just to make it look even similar. I'm gonna go to create directory. Look at that, just look at that. Look at how similar it is. See Windows name, see Windows name. Okay, cancel help, okay, cancel help. 
really, really similar. So I think they've done a pretty good job. And I also think that this project kind of deserves a little bit more recognition than it currently has, because I think that this can actually get us really far, especially if Microsoft does this thing where they kind of upload some more. For example, the next big one, if they do think that this was successful, is uploading a program manager one, because that was pretty cool. And in fact, you can still access it in Windows 95 or versions like that by typing progman.exe. But that's beside the point. Anyway, that's it for this video. I just wanted to show you a really quick overview of the file manager for Windows 10 and Windows 11, and also a comparison between the Windows 3.1 1. And that's basically it. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one. And by the way, if you enjoyed this video, remember to like, share and subscribe for more like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.